I'm Sally Mills from La Volta, and welcome to Digital Bullets. We put together a series of questions about issues and developments within the digital sector. We've asked some senior people and industry experts to give us their point of view. We've also given them 20 seconds to answer the questions or they get the chop. Hope you enjoy. Will Australia get a true IPTV industry like other parts of the world? Why? Why not? When? What will it look like? The government and telcos could hardly have put more barriers in place to IPTV if they'd actively tried to do it. Um, IT, IPTV at the moment is a lot of hot air uh, and um, it'll take a while for it to settle down into something that is uh, a really strong consumer proposition. For example, look at the dreadful customer experience that the TiVo download service offers. If you're on a basic broadband plan, it can cost you up to $375 to download a movie to watch on the TiVo service in bandwidth caps. That is completely unsustainable and is not what a good consumer proposition is about at all. Oh, I think IPTV in other markets is, is um, more developed than Australia, largely because there's a natural uh, competitive conflict between telcos and cable companies. In this market, we don't have that. Uh, Telstra obviously is a 50% owner of Foxtel, um, doesn't have the same uh, raison d'etre to attack uh, the cable company because it owns half the cable company. So given by our lack of scale in this market, I think IPTV will always be a relatively niche offering, um, on-demand video provided by a number of providers, but the, the reality of a true IPTV delivery over a set-top box in the home ultimately for me will be the, the very much the, the, the focus of Foxtel. I think it'll become the dominant player in that market. I know so little about IPTV that I have no idea what that looks like. I hope it's soon though. I hope it's good. As long as the government continues to get large amounts of money from media companies, I can't imagine it ever being allowed to happen in this country. I think that the closest we're going to get to a real IPTV play in this country is being stifled by Channel 7 and the studios who are taking IINet to court. Right now, I think that what is going to give us IPTV in Australia is going to be a willingness to give us decent speeds, an understanding by the government that consumers are entitled to access, an understanding that the public good has to overwrite copyright concerns in some cases, and, and people letting go of their content and setting it free. But right now, I don't think there's a major player in Australia who has any interest in IPTV really taking off here. They're all putting too much money in too many pockets to keep their monopolies in place. I think it's important to understand what IPTV is first. It's not internet television. Uh, it's, it is different and with the rollout of the fibre optic network uh, in Australia there will be IPTV services. I don't think they'll start with just broadcast based or broadcast type television first. I think it'll start with banking applications and, you know, and the like. But certainly with the, with the rollout of the fibre optic uh, cable network we will get IPTV of some sort. I mean certainly we'll see plenty of video um, sort of on the web video on demand type things. You just look at the ABC's been doing with iView to, to, to see where that's going. But true IPTV, um, I, I'm not 100% confident. If we were in Korea, they've already got it because they've built the network up first, but we're still mucking around with a network we don't even know what it's going to look like yet. I think um, the beauty of IPTV is that it reaches everybody across the world. So when there are companies that start focusing on IPTV in Australia, they'll not just be developing this content for Australians, but it will be for a global market. Australia is going to struggle to get a IPT sort of um, on par with the rest of the world. Why? Because it's supply side driven and we, we need the, um, the, the ISPs and, and the uh, telcos to make significant infrastructure changes before that can happen. If we're talking internet TV, I really don't think that that's something that will take off. We don't have that the history of making that successful through the forms of interactive TV and teletext, you know, they're things, they're, they're mediums and, and channels that have taken off in other countries that just haven't taken off here. But IPTV in, in doing on-demand content, I think it, it definitely has a place, but again, it, it depends on the type of content that becomes available via that channel. Given that the National Broadband Network is such an important part of Australia's future, uh, I, I'm hoping and I'm trusting that the government will follow through and actually launch uh, and participate in an MBN network. With MBN, and even today with ADSL too, IPTV is becoming a reality. And uh, I think over the coming years, particularly as consumer devices, and the Apple device is great, and there's a couple other devices out there that are also quite good, that allow consumers to experience IPTV in their lounge rooms. Making it universally uh, accessible is the key and making it fast enough to be sustainable is the second key but as a 
uh, as a direction, I think it's inevitable. Not anytime soon. I think the challenge there is Foxtel. Um, the partners in Foxtel are clearly got major territories to protect, particularly Telstra. What will happen is that the, the smart people and the, the early adopters will just find a way around it. And what they'll do is they'll start to channel um, their IPTV content through devices such as Apple TV directly onto their plasmas or their LCD, their digital screens. IPTV is not my speciality, but I can't see any reason why Australia won't follow whatever happens in the rest of the world over the long term. And I, I, I never particularly like the term. To me, um, you know, the, the internet and your, uh, and whether on PC or your mobile device, becoming a place where you can consume all media, including video, is inevitable and will certainly happen here, as it does everywhere else. We may not be first, but it'll come.